on behalf of Can Survive Legal Commune. Can Survive is an organization to support and to give information to the patients and their families of people who are suffering from cancer. And uh, this is just to give a great awareness about cancer. Today, we have uh, Mr. Manoj Kaimal, no need of uh, much introduction, but still, Manoj is with his wife, uh, Santhya, teaches a philosophy and awareness-based yoga. They have named Manas Yoga. He regularly conducts workshops on anatomy and physiology in India, as well as locally, along with teacher training courses for aspiring yoga teachers. Contemplate on the original vision of uh, this ancient practice of yoga. So, originally, yoga developed as a practice promising its practitioners that it will remove suffering from our lives. So, this is the fundamental premise on which yoga develops. Yoga says that there is suffering in our lives, and it says that by practice of yoga, it can remove suffering. So in that sense, it is fairly a healing practice because it heals suffering uh, in our lives. And towards its objective, what yoga uh, practice is about, yoga wants us to look into the way we are living our lives. It is really a, a looking uh, practice, a looking and seeing practice. In fact, it is called a darshana. Darshana means a, a vision. It is about really looking at how we are living our lives. So how are we living our lives? We live our lives through a body, through a mind, intellect, ego. We can make some subdivisions. And when they say, look into the way you are living your lives, it simply means look into the way we are using our body, we are using our mind, using our breath. Look into that. And they say for years and years, you continue this awareness practice. You keep looking into the way you are operating this body-mind-breath complex. And they say that eventually, from this continuous looking, you will start to see what the body is. You will start to see that much of the suffering in our lives is from our own contribution due to unskillful using of our mind, body, breath, etc. We are contributing a lot to our suffering. In the wake of this seeing of the unskillful use of our body and the mind, something termed, I mean, it's basically wisdom. Wisdom dawns in us. It is termed in Sanskrit as Viveka. So once we have this wisdom, Armed with this wisdom, when we live our lives, our life moves away from suffering and towards a place of peace and harmony. So, I just want, because though we are going to talk about breathing, uh, we still should have an idea about what is the overall context of yoga, which is to reduce suffering. And we might read that yoga, we practice yoga to discover the inner bliss and all that. But if you ask me, yoga first says you look and discover suffering in our lives. Okay. We might not recognize it due to all the use of mind, suffering in the forms of anxiety, uncontrolled craving, so many forms of suffering is there. So it says discover suffering and then we can find a way how to rise above that. Okay. So keeping that, con keeping that in context, we'll move into breathing. But again, let me tell you, yoga is a very holistic practice, very integrated practice, and breathing is one part of the arsenal of yoga techniques. So if we talk about that part in the practice, separated from the context of the whole, it might not make much meaning. So though I'll be going towards